Hey everyone, James here with Rococo, and I'm back with another tutorial for you. Uh, this time, I want to show you how to work with multiple characters inside of Studio and how to export them out and work with them inside of your favorite game engines like Unity and Unreal. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so you'll see here we have our, our take, our, our fight take, which includes two characters that we have here. And you'll also notice our um, video reference is shown. And if I go ahead and hit play, uh, the animation will play and you can actually see them interact um, in the video reference, which is pretty cool. Um, but for now, we're not going to uh, really pay attention to the video reference. What we're going to do is just really pay attention to uh, what we want to export out um, for our game engine use. So let me go ahead and uh, minimize this. And then um, essentially what we want to do is find a, a part in this animation in which they're interacting with each other and then how easy it'll be to you know export it out from here and import it into unity or unreal and then how to make it work inside of the game engine so what we'll do is uh let's go ahead and find uh this little section right here where they're punching uh looks pretty good and so the cool thing uh, about studio is that we can actually export out segments so I don't want to export out all of this uh, idling. I just want to export out, you know, just this particular moment. And so, in order to do that, let me go ahead and get to where um, I want to start the animation. Uh, let's maybe do right around here. And then, if I hold Shift on the keyboard, I can go ahead and click and drag and then it'll cre create the segment. So let me just break it out from right here. And um, now every time I hold shift, I, I have an, a start and end point of um, this particular segment. So let me bring out my start point a bit back here. And then let's see where it ends. Okay, so I want this segment to maybe end right around here. And so let me pull our end right to that point. And now this is all we have. So this is, if I hit the export button now, it's only going to export out this particular segment. Um, so this will be good to work with. And um, so let's go ahead and export it out now. And in order to export, you just go ahead and hit our export button. And then you have your export options. We're gonna leave everything as an FBX. Um, but what we'll do is uh, switch our skeleton over to Mixamo. Uh, because we'll be working with um, characters that use the Mixmo rig. And once that's done, just go ahead and hit export and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and jump over now to um, our game engine. All right, so here we are in Unity and I've gone ahead and set up this little scene with our characters. Um, and these are just characters I grabbed from the asset store. They're the uh, PBR Customized Soldiers pack. Um, and essentially, I've just gone ahead and set them up, um, you know, in our scene with a little floor. Um, but now what we want to do is import our animations that we exported. And so what you can do is actually if you go to um, back into studio, there's a go to exports folder. If we click on that button, um, it'll show where exactly uh, we've exported out our uh, animations to. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and drag both of these directly into our assets and now they're imported. Um, so in order to work with animations inside of Unity, you have to set the rig to humanoid. So what I'll do is switch over to the rig tab and switch the animation type to humanoid and click apply. And I will do the same thing for the other one. And that's only because our, the rigs that we have on these characters are also humanoid. Um, so now we can go ahead and look at our animation if we go ahead and hit play, and you'll see the animation starts to play. And so we'll just make a, a small little adjustment. Um, the first thing that we want to adjust is this T-pose. Um, let's go ahead and get just get rid of that. And I believe, let's see here, on frame 11 is when uh, we don't have the T-pose anymore. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. And then we'll hit uh, apply. And actually before we do that, if you notice, um, there was some rotation um, yeah there's some rotation as the characters walking we'll go ahead and bake um, into pose for root transform rotation so that our character just kind of stays in uh, facing one particular direction 
And once you do that, we'll go ahead and hit apply. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for our other animation. Let's go ahead and make sure that we get rid of that T pose, which looks like is frame three. Actually, let's see here. Yeah, frame one. And then we'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll click bake into pose um, and then hit apply. And then now you can see the animation play. And so now we wanna go ahead and uh, apply these to our characters in scene. And in order to do that, we need to create animation um, controllers or animator controllers. So we go ahead and create one. We'll just go ahead and name this one character one. And then we'll duplicate that with control D and so now we have two animator controllers and we'll select our first soldier, drag our animator controller right into the controller here for animator. And then we'll do the same thing for our soldier eight. And then now we can go ahead and apply um, the animations. So we wanna open up your animator. If you don't have your animator opened up, you can click on window, go to animation and then animator. And then this is where we can drag in our clip. So. This one is for um, our Soldier 6 character, which is this guy. So we'll go ahead and let's see which animation this one is. So this is um, the guy punching. So we'll go ahead and take this, um, we'll, we'll grab this clip and then drag it right into here. And then we'll do the same thing for our soldier. We'll click on his animator controller and then we'll grab the other animation and then drag the clip right into here. And then now, um, as soon as we hit play, it should work. Um, and you see he kind of walks up, but they're not matching up properly. And so this is where you want to go ahead and um, adjust some tweaks. So we know that our, this character walks up a bit, so maybe we'll push him back uh, a, a bit further. And um, I believe there is some rotation as well. So let's go ahead and um, adjust his rotation at first, maybe around right here. And then let's just see how that looks for now. Okay, a lot better. Um, but let's go ahead and move him maybe a little bit closer. Okay, and then let me go ahead and maximize this. And there you go. So that looks even better. Um, so that's pretty much how you want to go ahead and uh, manipulate, you know, the animations uh, when you're working with multiple characters in studio. Um, so this is just a, a small little preview of, you know, how you can use these tools to, to really make these animations work inside of a game engine. Um, so hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys uh, learned a little bit about working with multiple characters in studio. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.